We all enjoy the prospect of perfection. And everyone has an ideal outcome. We all make plans. But very rarely do they unfold as they were drawn up. Why? Well, because life is predictably unpredictable. It's mysterious. Yet for some reason, we march on toward the acquisition of a flawless existence. Scared of anything but uh, an undamaged, untarnished, immaculate reflection staring back at us in the mirror. But in the real world, you know, our happiness, contentment, growth, progress, that are not a product of perfection. They're built from the imperfections that we collect along the way. The trials, the tribulations. You know, when you piece all that together, like little puzzle pieces, they depict the beauty. They show the image that's always been so highly coveted. In other words, the process of rebuilding creates something more valuable than the same pieces before they were broken down, when they were untouched. In Japanese philosophy, there's a, a concept known as kintsugi, which is the art of repairing broken pottery with a golden lacquer. It's the idea that we don't want to hide the damage, but we want to rebuild it into something more meaningful, more valuable. Embrace the imperfect, own and cherish it. There's an old story about a tea master known as Rikyu. And he was attending a Japanese tea ceremony with one of his followers. And, and the follower tries to impress Rikyu by buying this fancy clay jar and making it visible during the meeting. But Rikyu never, you know, once acknowledges it. The praise never comes. So the student, you know, obviously upset by the lack of recognition, he pushes the jar off the counter, it falls to the floor, it breaks into a bunch of pieces. And another student ultimately repairs it using kintsugi. He right? puts the pieces back together with a gold lacquer. And next time Rikyu attends the tea ceremony as a guest of honor, uh, he sees the jar rebuilt and says, now it's beautiful. Now it has character. He acknowledges its value. And this story reminds us about the myth of perfection. Right? Life's not about dodging and avoiding the difficulty. It's about facing it head on. Because when we come out on the other side, we transform into something that was previously unobtainable and rise to a world beyond imagination. See, we change not by running around life's obstacles, but by running directly through them. Like a muscle being repeatedly broken down and built back up, the pain, the exhausted energy is the vehicle. The micro creates the macro. The difficult becomes the exceptional. We need the very things we're inclined to avoid. Our shortcomings, they not only precede and establish our greatness, they are our greatness. Being broken is not a tragedy, it is a step along the way. It's the beginning of something new, a launching pad, a chance to be better than you have ever been. Because look, here's the reality. If your status quo has never been shaken at its foundation, if you've never stopped and questioned the way things are, reality as it is, if you don't take risks, there will be no fragments to take and rebuild. You won't have the tools or capacity to change the world around you. And that is the thing of note. Beauty is not fearing the rebuild, it is the rebuild. It's not feeling sorry or hopeless, but hopeful. Seeing your situation for what it is, an opportunity. It is what you need, a blank canvas, your chance to make art while redrawing creative boundaries. If perfect is the goal, why take this step? 
Why take the chance? Why risk messing things up? It's never been about perfect. It's about picking up the pieces and rising again.